Hi guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd just like to give you a quick uh, uh, rundown on some of the features and functions and benefits of our Slimline Lithium battery. So the one I've got selected today is the 110 Slim with the DC to DC built in. So a lot of people ask, why is there a blue Anderson plug and why is there a gray Anderson plug? The answer to that is the blue is an input for the charger only nothing else to do with the battery it's just where you get the power into the battery for the charger from your other dc source so in a vehicle case it would be the dc um, from your cranking battery in the front of the car so all you need from that cranking battery from the front of the car is the positive so the positive uh so at the for testing purposes we'll be using the uh the old um, power supply here the tech bench power supply so currently I've got that sitting on 13 volts, no amps going through, it's a 30 amp power supply, so it will eliminate what um, the charge will be pulling from the charger from your alternator. So all you need to do to run from your cranking battery is run a positive power cable through to the blue Anderson plug, and that will plug into there. Um, and the black, you can either run the black wire into that and, uh, and run that from the front if you're running twin core cable, not a problem. So you can run the, your, neg your negative and your positive into that power there. Um, or what you can do, the reason why this one's separate like this is because I've actually got it going through a shunt. So I've got the negative from the power here going through into the shunt. But normally what you would do is you would have, you would have an Anderson connection uh, in the blue with, the, with the, um, the positive and negative going into there. Um, and that's just input only, as I said, for your charger. So as I said, in this case, because I've got it going through a shunt, the negative's going into the shunt. So ultimately what would happen is when you start your car up, the voltage will go to above 13.2, and you can see the charger has now turned on inside here. So it turns on at around that 13.2 mark and turns off at around 12.7. So if you keep your eye here and here, and, and between those two, you'll notice that once I get down to around that, well in this case, yeah, 12.7, it'll turn off, and then 13.2 turns back on. And then under, under that 13, just around that 13.8 mark, 12.8 mark, it's turned off. So there's around that 0.5 of a volt variance there to turn on and off. So when that's on, that there, as I said, purely means then that that's charging, and this is actually telling me that this battery is pulling 14 amps um, from that uh, charger or front battery. Then your Gray Anderson plug is where you connect all your loads uh, and also your solar controller and everything too. So um, with that in mind, what you would do is your, um, this one for instance, I've put one of our parallel cables on here because I'm using power from the, um, through the smart shunt from there as well to um, supply the power back for the smart shunt so I can see it on the phone. Um, but then you could also, as I said, you could quite easily use that for, for whatever you wanted to. You could put your solar controller into this, for instance. You could plug, um, so source side in, yep, so source into here. This is a little um, monitor that you can control, that you can plug in, so you could plug your solar uh, power or panel uh, regulator into this and if it's one that doesn't have a meter or anything on it it will actually show you how many amps is coming in the actual volts of the battery and so forth and, and where it's sitting at so um, great little device but as I said you can plug your solar controller into that as well not a problem I'll just quickly grab one which I've got over here So this is the, uh, the solar controller that we supply with our blankets. Great, great little controller. Now a tip with these two is always plug in the Gray Anderson or the battery side to the battery before you plug in your solar. The reason being is because these are actually a 12, 24 volt charger. So by plugging it into the battery first, it will then tell the battery what um, battery system you're running. So it then will then put it into a 12 volt charger or a 24 volt charger, so ultimately being 12 volt. So as you can see here, it's now showing me, um, it's going through there telling me the, you know, what the actual uh, panel uh, voltage would be, the battery voltage uh, and uh, the wattage and everything that's going in from the solar. Obviously I don't have a solar built in, a blanket plugged in, so it's not showing me any amps or anything like that. Ultimately you would then plug your blanket into there. So that would utilize one of those spots 
And then the other spot you can have coming out to another wire lead if you want. You can keep daisy chaining on, but I've just got this fridge plugged in um, and uh, the fridge is running off of, off of this as well. So actually what I'll do is I'll just to show you how this meter works. I'll plug the fridge into here now um, and then plug this meter back in. Yeah, so that's just an, another thing that you can do with these uh, little meters, as I said, they're, they're great for plugging into your loads to see what's going on, uh, and especially for solar as well. Um, so that's just a couple of the features and functions of the units and the reason why we have the two coloured uh, Anderson plugs, and obviously being different colours, they're also a different keyway, so you can't plug the grey into the blue and the blue into the grey, obviously for, uh, for voltage reasons you don't want to go doing that either. Uh, and the same with the red for the solar, because solar is obviously putting out anywhere you know, 18 to 20 volts, you don't want to go plugging that into a regulated 12 volt circuit. So um, that's the reason for the different colours and why we do them. So we, we usually use red for raw, uh, grey for regulated power source and blue for ignition. So that's pretty much our standard in the industry standard anyway um, for a lot of devices and, and how you do it. Um, but there's, as I say, there's plenty of other different configurations that you can plug them into, um, but you def definitely can use the parallel leads uh, into these units. Um, now, a lot of people question about the Anderson plugs because they say they're only a 50 amp Anderson plug. If you actually go to, and we've actually got the documentation um, from Anderson, but if you can go to the Anderson website and download this, the um, spec sheet for the 50 plug, they actually called it the 50 because it was a 50 mil plug, not just because it was for 50 amps. But if you use six mil cable, or six gauge cable, I should say, um, on the Anderson plug, it'll actually rate it up to 120 amps. So therefore then, because these have a 100 amp hour built in BMS in them, you can uh, run 100 amps through that uh, grey Anderson plug there, as long as you are using six gauge cable um, through the circuitry that you're plugging it to. So, um, so there's a little tip there. But if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call or swing by our new uh, Baintech website. And there's a lot of uh, under support or, uh, and also under the frequent uh, questions and uh, answers. There's a lot of information there and videos as well. Uh, and if there isn't something there that, uh, that you've got a question for, just by all means jot us uh, down, ask us the question and we will get back to you with an answer and we'll also post it back up onto the webpage as well. So until next time, bye for now.